I'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Okay, so you've gotten the official Be More News tour of Pennsylvania, of historic Pennsylvania Avenue. Mayor Candace Hollinsworth, your thoughts? Well, first, I want to say thank you for spending your time with me today. Um, and love the opportunity of getting to meet, meet people like Jimmy and Bubba <laughs> and the other ambassadors for the strip. So that was great. Um, and I think, one, the first thing is if anybody leaves here and not feel a sense of urgency and responsibility, then I don't know who that is. But secondly, a lot of times people, what happens in communities like ours, like this one, is that people focus on the things that are, that, that, are, that are wrong or the perceived deficits and forget about the true gems in communities, the assets that they have, like a long-standing market that, as I understand from you, is being you know now in better hands and potentially going to have more tenants and people to lease and grow their businesses. Um, gyms like people who are, you know, entrepreneurs that are, um, that are, you know, just helping to support the community and they're doing it from within the community and not from um, another place outside of it. I just, I am motivated, I'm energized by the people that I've met today, the things that I've seen, and I'm just excited and I'm grateful for you for spending the time. Do you sense that people here want better? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do, do you sense no that people are trying? I mean, you've met a couple of entrepreneurs who come here every day to make money legally. I think anybody that, that chooses to be here and chooses this, whether it's I'm choosing Baltimore because it's my home or I'm choosing Baltimore because I want to grow my business here. I'm choosing this because this is all I know. People that continue to choose Baltimore every day deserve to have people in leadership who choose Baltimore when they're thinking about the policy when they're thinking about how they make investments and they think about you know all the things that they're doing for their community. We have to choose Baltimore intentionally because there are so many people here that are choosing Baltimore too. Now, now I gotta put you on the spot one last time. Uh-oh. This, this is total, totally off the cuff. You have no idea where I'm coming from. <laughs> Two weeks ago, an entity from gorgeous Prince George's County was featured here in the city of Baltimore. Bowie State University was the de facto home team for the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association, CIAA. Uh, this is the first real time. We've had a couple of instances where the CIAA was happening, but the pandemic, of course. But uh, how do we grow? I mean, so you understand where I'm going. Bowie, Baltimore, CIAA. How to better embrace CIAA, how to better embrace Bowie State University here in Baltimore, home to Coppin and Morgan already, but they're not CIAA. Right. I, I, I guess I'm just asking about that bridge between the two largest African-American, the two largest black jurisdictions in the state, Baltimore and gorgeous Prince George's. So, you know, every, what is it, four years, there's this dance that people do to try to figure out who's gonna host the Olympics, right? And when they do that, they make a lot of investments in those cities. They choose to make sure that there are places that people can go to be entertained. They invest in, you know, in recreation. They want nice parks because they don't want their visitors to come and have a bad impression. So if it takes the incentive of a tournament like the CIAA, to make sure that we do the focus investment in the same way that we do that was done in Centennial Park in Atlanta, the same way that we do across this country when, or across the globe when it comes to the Olympics, we can do the same thing here for tournaments that are kind of pillars within our own community. And I know that um, to have people who are cult culturally aware enough to know what needs to happen around those types of events is, will be really important and something I hope we're able to do. I, I would be remiss, and I know you have to go, but I did not give, her, not give you an opportunity to acknowledge the most in people, important people in your life. Not your campaign manager, not, not this guy over here with the cameras and stuff, but your family. My family. I would not be able to do any of the work that I do in public service without my family. And that's all the parts of my family and my best friends. 
Um, but I always have to make sure that I talk about the two human beings that I'm raising every day to be their best selves, and that's my son Ellis and my daughter Zora. I am so proud of them, and I hope I continue to make them proud every day. Good deal. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Thank you for coming to Historic Pennsylvania Avenue. Thank you for having me.